Hello, this is Stefan Wintermeyer. In today's screencast, I'll talk about authorization. In the last screencast, I showed you how to create a um, simple authentication for Ruby on Rails 4.2 application. And today we are going to recycle that code. So I have a copy of that code here in my block directory. And I'll show you how to create a very simple block with uh, needed um, authorization for that. Let us start with creating the scaffold for a post. Break db migrate. And because um, I changed the application HTML ERB to display the flash messages, <laughs> I have to edit the post show view, uh, delete the first line, and I have to do the same with the index view. Okay, now we are good. We have to change the model. Let's open the post model. Um, we have to add a couple of validations for that. Let me do that with a snap. So here we have a validation for the title, for the content, and for the user. And I added a two underscore s method uh, for which displays the title. Let's save that. In the user model, we have to add the has many posts part. So has many posts dependent. So when we delete a user, all posts will be deleted too. Let's have a look at the application. Okay, let's log out. I will add a home and a post link here. Uh, Wim application views layouts application um, link to home root path and link to posts posts path. Reload that. Yeah, okay, that's a little bit easier. And let's increase the size. Okay, great. Um, so let's see post, new post. First thing is um, we don't need the user ID feed here because uh, after the authorization, we will be able to know what user this is. This is going to be the current user, so we don't uh, need it here. Just open the form partial here and delete the part. Let's double check. Yeah, it's gone. If we don't have that field here, we don't need the user ID in the post params trusted parameter whitelist in the controller either. So let's fix that too. So here's the user ID and we don't need that here. Done. While we're here, let's change the code here so that the current user posts build. Um, so that when I'm logged in and I create a post, the post is already connected to the current user. Let's try that. Let me log in. Posts, new post, test one, create post. Yeah, so the post is already connected to the user, Stefan. If I log out and try to create a new post, this form shouldn't be displayed now because I'm not logged out. 
um, I'm a guest in the system. So the system should provide some sort of authorization for that. To do that, we open the posts controller and add a before action here, authorize. And we don't need that for the show and for the index because it's also available for anyone. Let me go. Let me include the method with a snap. So what does this authorize message do? It first checks if the current user is nil. Uh, if that's the case, um, the user is, is redirected to the login URL and gets an alert flash message, not authorized, please log in. If the user is logged in and therefore there is a current user, uh, we check if there is a post and if the current user is not the user of the post. If that's the case, we have to redirect to root path and uh, create a flash me alert message not auto authorized. Only the other user has access to this post. So let's save that. Let's reload. And we have a syntax error. Let me double check that. Okay. Uh, I have a missing end. Okay, let's do it again. Yeah, now I got the not authorized please log in message. So if I log in now, then I have access to this. I can uh, test to create post. Okie dokie. What doesn't make any sense is the new post link here if a user is logged out. So now I'm not logged in, but I still have the new po uh, post link here. We can fix that in the view, in the index view. Let's go and say, if current user, then we display this. If not, we don't display it. And while we're here, uh, we can do the same thing here with the edit and destroy, or not not exactly the same, but the same idea. Let's say if current user and um, post current uh, post user equals current user, then we display this. And uh, let me do the same thing for the destroy. And let's check it. Yeah, it works. So now I only have the show link, which is okay. Uh, and if I log in, I get the other links. Um, obviously, we have to do the same thing in uh, the show view. So, views post show for the edit if current user and post. that log out posts show yeah okay so that's it for authorization it's pretty easy to set up for such a simple example once it gets more complicated you have to make a decision if it's worth the effort of including a gem like um, can 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 or um, Pundit or any other gem, I will add a, um, a link to the Ruby toolbox where you can find a list of gems which provide authorization. 
but uh, for such a simple uh, situation, I prefer to solve the problem by myself because then in the future I'll be able to fix it easier and I know that it's easier to upgrade to newer rates versions. Okay, thanks for listening. Uh, please send me an email if you like the screencast and um, if you have any questions or just any, any sort of feedback.